Miami is known for some of the finest Latin American and Caribbean style food on earth. And today, I'm gonna eat from worst to the best. With my girlfriend. First, we're gonna drink these cups and flip them and get the best winter breakfast in Miami. Go, what? go, go, go. Yeah, hey, she's cheating. Finish. Let's go. She's finished. No. Ah! Oh! Yeah! No! Man, I gotta go to the worst rated breakfast song. Wait, wait, wait. The winner of the next challenge gets an unlimited budget and gets to decide the loser's budget. Okay, let's do the next challenge then. So, you see this? If you find this, you will get unlimited budget. Wait. Let's go with the middle. No! But that doesn't mean I lost because it's your turn now. What? Whoa. Oh my god. You get unlimited budget at the best rated Yay. spot. Yay! Woohoo! And how much budget do I have? You only have five dollars, baby. Five dollars? I'm not even gonna get breakfast That's with only five dollars. The average person in Miami spent seventeen dollars dining out, which is three times more than my budget. I'm waiting right now and I really wonder if we can get something with only five bucks at the worst rated restaurant spot. All the prices are super cheap here and that could be something really good or either really bad. Okay, so we're here at the first place. Uh, we're gonna have some breakfast because I'm literally starting. Look at the menu. I love the vibe because even the menu is so funny. It says main be pit be even name. I love the white so so much. I'm gonna order a lot because I have unlimited budget. I already know what I'm gonna get. Got the food right here. We literally waited just for this food 40 minutes. I don't even want to talk to her because they got mad at us right away when we walked in with the camera. But besides all of that, let's forget that and let's just try the food because that's why we're here. Okay, the food does look fancy. I mean, I could do that so much better, but yeah, I don't want to charge before trying. It's not that bad, but it tastes very normal. Okay, I want to be honest, guys. Food was two out of five, maybe even a one. And look how it looks like. It looks so gross. I can't even drink it so, so bad. And it's also served in a paper. Also, the water in plastic. Everything is in plastic. I don't like that. I think it's one of five. Nice pollito empanada. Let's try it. I know what the people were talking about. The meat is so bad. Oh my god, I can't eat that. I'm so sorry, but that is so ass, bro. We're gonna put this away now. And now we're focusing on the buniello because the buniello is one of my favorites, but I've never seen it served in oil. It's supposed to be cooked in oil, but not served in oil. Let's give this a try. This is disrespectful, oh my god. I'm about to cry it's so bad, bro. I gotta leave. Yo, man, you gonna leave me? Dang, you really just left me here. We're back at home. I didn't even eat anything so far. Baby, how was your yeah, experience? Mine was bad too. Was what? So, so bad. Everything was, I mean, the wine was good, but the food, not good. How is that possible? You were at one of the best rated restaurants and you had unlimited budget. Yeah, this is why I don't always have to trust the ratings because it was not good at all. The next challenge, you guys have to guess which one of these rice crispies is the real or a fake one. Where is it? Good luck. Where is it? It's in front of you. Oh, it's so sweet. Okay, let me try the other one first and then I'm gonna... Is it here? Yes. Oh. It tastes the same for me. Pick which one you guys think is real, which you think is fake. I think the second one is real. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. The one in front of Doina is definitely no. the real one. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Has to be. The winner is... Manuel! Yes, sir! Oh my god, yes! Finally, I get the best rated restaurant. All right, guys, the winner of the next challenge gets the unlimited budget and gets to decide the budget of the loser. What is it? Yeah. I can't find it. Oh, here. I got it. Okay. Oh my god. So easy. I always drink Coke. I yeah. know which one is diet really and which easy. one is not. Okay, which one is the second one? Where is it? Right here for you. Much better. Not that sweet. Put your hand on which one you guys think is the original Coca Cola. This one. The first one is the original. The winner is Doina. Yay! Are I you knew kidding that. me? I knew that. It was so easy. So, what is my budget for my lunch? I'm gonna double it. So it's gonna be you know how much I eat. Not today. Oh my god. My first impressions weren't that good because of the area where the restaurant is located and the restaurant itself didn't look like a five-star rated one. But it has just something good since it's rated so high. So we only have a budget of 20 bucks. We want you to surprise us. Okay, I got you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. But Daniel, the budget is $10. Yeah, I know, but Doina doesn't have to know. 
Yo, yo, okay. that's cheating. No, bro, it's not cheating because it's ten dollars for me and ten dollars for you. Oh, you're smart. That's smart. Okay, we just parked the car over there. Uh, I think this must have a place. It's a bit scared, to be honest. Okay, no one's here. I have the menu in front of me, and I don't know what to order because it looks very, very crazy here. And I feel so, so lonely but yeah let's try it out i hope it's not that bad like oh, this is the food our waitress got us um i'm really excited it looks really really tasty compared to the first spot i went to oh my god finally some good food Damn, that is some good food because compared to the food we had earlier, oh my god, bro, it's so good. Oh my god, damn, this is perfect. Everything I wanted, 10 out of 10. Okay, so even though we're not in the nicest area of Miami and the restaurant, to be honest, from the outside, you can see it doesn't look that good but never judge a book by its cover the food was a 10 out of 10 i would rate this one five stars so good this is definitely worth rated the best lunch spot okay, i just ordered the food and i'm really really curious because it actually doesn't look that bad like the place here i never judge the place with the food actually i have unlimited budget but i spent 50 dollars for this too Mmm, it's really not that bad like expected. Wow, it's really good. Okay, let's try this maki. Mm -hmm. It's so, so good. I don't think it's one star worth because it looks and it tastes also very good. I would give it maybe a four from five. Yeah. Babe, I'm back. I gotta tell you about my lunch. My lunch is so good. I had alligator bites for the first what? time. Yes, you alli yes. alligator at the best rated spot in Miami. How is your lunch at the worst rated spot? Mine was also very good. I didn't expect How? it to be that good. I don't know, but it was really good. What? I mean, my place looked not that good from outside. How did your place look from outside? My place didn't look good at all from outside. So that means don't judge a book by its cover. We both had good experiences. Even though mine was rated so good, it looked bad and it actually was good. And hers was rated bad, looked bad, also was very, very good. Are the person that sings this song the worst goes to a place that serves rats. Rats? Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna go to a place where they serve rats. Ew. But the person that sings the best goes to the best rated dinner in Miami. What? Yes. Which ready? song? Billionaire. Three, two, what? one. Oh my god. I wanna be a billionaire so fucking bad. I wanna be on the cover of Forbes magazine. Smiling next to Oprah and the Queen. You know what, guys? Forget the rap plays. You guys both get to go to the best rated dinner in Miami and have an unlimited budget. Together? Yeah! yeah. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> was very very good definitely the best spot we went to the whole day make sure to watch this video why haven't you clicked on it yet